Welcome back to another static simulation tutorial. In this SOLIDWORKS video, I'm going to just run an example of a static FEA stress analysis on a cylindrical style cantilevered out beam. Like we see here in this part, it's just all one part, a simple circular extrusion about 10 feet out, 16 inches in diameter, made out of 4032 T6 alloy. Let's go ahead and get started. But before that, I've got a free SOLIDWORKS FEA guide, all yours for free, in the description. Make sure you check that out. Join my Patreon for exclusive SOLIDWORKS content and more. And with that said, subscribe. Let's get started. So we've got our geometry set up, our material selected. We are eligible to run our static analysis. So we're gonna go to fixtures. We're gonna do just a fixed geometry. Once we have our prompt here, it's gonna prompt us to select Faces, edges, or vertices, we're gonna select this back face here and hit continue. You can see these green symbols showing the area that is fixed. We are now going to apply a force in a selected direction. You'll see here in a minute, instead of normal to, for example, if we select these faces, we're gonna do selected direction here, it's prompting us to select which area we want to apply the force. And we're going to do just on this face here. Whoops. We're going to select this face here of the beam. And then in the selected direction, face, edge, plane for direction, we're going to select this edge here. It's not where we want it. We want it down here. And it'll give us a nice preview of what the current configuration is for the force. That is not the right direction. So we are going to just hit reverse direction on the side here where you see force. Of course, we're in English units. You can choose metric if your government uses that system which I think we should all use, but that's just my opinion. Now, since this is a beefy part to demonstrate a lot of yield stress, we are going to do 150 tons, which is about 300,000 pounds of force. Did I forget to add a zero? I think I did. So, let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And you can see it'll show you the value of the pound force we are applying to the part. We can hit OK. We're going to have the right direction now, downward. Let's go ahead and mesh. We're going to click, right click, mesh, and select. Now, for mesh parameters, we have our settings to curvature based mesh. We're going to do it right in the middle for this example. For how fine the mesh is, you can see the maximum element size is almost four inches and it's right in the middle. So we'll leave it at that. For minimum number of elements in a circle, we have it to 10. Great. We'll run that and it'll process here in a minute. All right, now that that is done, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Trying to count how many of the elements are in this circle here. So you should get roughly 10. 
the mesh is now generated. So we can finally run this study and see what our results are. All right, a couple things going on here. We have our Von Mises chart. Peak stress is on the top surface of the beam here near the wall. This purple indicates where the part is yielding. We have our chart settings to show purple, anything above the yield value, which is conveniently shown for this material is 45 KSI. So we're above that in our max. So that is definitely failure uh, with this incredibly high force. We would expect something like that. You can see it's yielding too on the bottom here in that purple area. Everything else that is blue, we are not seeing much damage or even stress for that matter at all. We can show the mesh again if we want. We can toggle back and forth. Let's go to some of the chart settings here. We can animate the force if we want to. It is bending as expected. You can see that stress really show up there due to bending. That is just one example of running a static analysis on a beam for this particular cylindrical style. We'll cover other examples of basic FEA in future videos. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my free FEA guide in the description. Again, become a Patreon member for full access to SolidWorks content, job postings, part files, and more. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.